And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! There's no question that outside his wall-crawling persona, Tom Holland is a spectacular actor. Jerry is yet another film that proves that. But it's a bit unfortunate his few recent films outside the MCU are largely depressing and hard to watch. This is one of those films. Based on a 2018 novel by Nico Walker, Cherry plays out like a few different movies wrapped up into one. It has elements of a crime drama with a war epic dropped in the middle of it. Holland plays an unnamed character who drops out of college, enlists in the army during the Iraq war, and returns home to PTSD, drug addiction, and a career as a bank robber. Much like a novel, the story unfolds in chapters, the first of which feels a bit aimless. And if you manage to make it past that, like me, you might find that you're simply powering through the rest of the film instead of enjoying it. The other MCU connection is that of Joe and Anthony Russo who both produce and direct the film. Their stylized cinematography leads to some very interesting shot choices, but their overall lack of restraint tends to distract from the story rather than supplement it. This includes sequences that feel like they're drawn out longer than they should be, which makes you feel the film's 2 hour and 20 minute runtime. Some of this dark movie's brighter spots include the performances of Holland, Sierra Bravo, and Jack Rayner who plays a drug dealer character by the name of Pills and Coke. There are also some fun meta easter eggs like the names of the banks Holland's character robs, but I don't think that's enough to make you want to sit through a nearly two and a half hour downer. But if you insist on seeing it, have a palate cleanser ready. Now excuse me while I go throw on a Spider-Man flick. Cut! That's a wrap!